In this problem, we're being asked to find the average rate of change of a function over some interval. In this case, uh, the function is g of x equals 4x minus 5. And uh, we're looking at it on this interval from negative 6 to negative 1. So basically, the rate of change, it's the same as the slope. Um, but if, if a function is more complicated than this one, this one's just a line, you can find an average rate of change, which would give you an average slope of that function. This is how to do it. You take, well, let's call this uh, x1, and we'll call this x2 for our two x values. You take the, the function value at x2 and subtract the function value at x1. So basically, that's the, the difference in the y-coordinates for these two points. And then you put that over x2 minus x1. So you can think of this as the rise for that interval, and this as the run for that interval. So we need to actually figure out g of x2 and g of x1. So x1 is negative 6. We can plug this in here. Negative 6 times 4 is negative 24 minus 5 is negative 29. So g of x1 is negative 29. g of x2, well, x2 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Minus 5 is negative 9. OK. Now we can go ahead and plug in the numbers in our formula here. So this is uh, negative 9 minus a negative 29. And that goes over negative 1 minus a negative 6. Well, negative 9 minus a negative 29 is, is like negative 9 plus 29. So that's just 20. And negative 1 minus a negative 6 is like negative 1 plus 6. That's 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we come back to the idea that the average rate of change of a function is just its slope. And we had a straight line here. Its slope was 4. If you had known that, you could have skipped all this uh, uh, figuring here and just taken the slope, because that's going to be the answer if your function is a straight line. So that is how to find the average rate of change of a function.